Let's give God a praise clap and hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Thank God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us stand to our feet for the call to worship. The Lord is in His holy temple and all the earth keeps silent before Him. We're going to ask the choir to give us our opening selection. Whoa, this job that I had, you know.
to serve the Lord and give praise to his name. We thank God for just being able to fellowship together. Hallelujah. Just to glorify his name together. Hallelujah. Uh, whatever issues you may have had before you got here, put them to the side and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. We know our God is bigger than any problem that we might think we have, and he's able to heal us of anything we're going through. Amen. So we thank him this morning. But again, we do thank the Lord for allowing us to be gathered together in his name. And we're going to ask the choir to come back for another selection. And then we will have the uh, ministers. They want to come and give an encouraging word. And from there, we will uh, have another selection and I'll come back. So uh, come on, choir.
sent to attack them. So they got up early in the morning and left and left everything mm -hmm. in this great family. They left all their belongings. Yes, yes. The four left them come in and had a meal. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to you, no matter what you're going through, come on now, come on now. No matter what it is, yes, mm -hmm. God got the answer. Hey, Amen. He allowed four lepers to sound like fighting horsemen and chariots mm -hmm. to run them away mm -hmm. so the four lepers could have food to eat. Mm -hmm. Your God went on the cross and died so we would have a right to the tree of life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what really is your issue? Come on now. Mm -hmm. What really are you taking pills and having anxiety for? Mm -hmm. We serve a mighty God. Amen. Yeah. 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 There's nothing too hard for him. Yes. So whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. give it to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'll chase your enemies away. Amen. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read a few verses here from Matthew, the 25th chapter. About the uh, ten virgins here. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto a ten virgin who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. Now five of them were wise, five were foolish. Come right? on now, come on. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with them. Mm -hmm. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. Mm -hmm. And at midnight there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Mm -hmm. Now all these virgins had oil. Yes. They had oil. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure they went to prayer meeting off. Done, done all the things they needed to do. But, and they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a herd, a cry. The bridegroom coming. Go out to meet him. Then they all arose and trimmed their lamps. <laughs> and the foolish said to the wise, 
Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone now. Now they had, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going now. <laughs> so they had oil. Yeah. They had oil. Come on. But they didn't have enough oil. Yeah. That, was, that was the key right there. They didn't have enough oil. Yeah. Sometimes we can play in church for a long time. Come on now. Yeah. We can go through the motions. Yeah. But sometimes we, we're not going to have enough. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. They didn't have enough. Then they, they actually, the, the wise, give us some of your oil. You know what they said? No. No. Some things you're going to have to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mama can pray for you. Daddy can pray for you. Brother and sister can pray for come you. On now, come but sometimes yeah. you're going to have to do something for yourself. Yeah. 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 And so they didn't give them the oil. They said, go the one and buy for yourself. Yeah. And so they took off. Get some oil for themselves. Mm -hmm. But what happened? The bridegroom came. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when they got back, the door was shut. Mm -hmm. And that's how we that's how we do right now sometimes. We come to church, we do everything that look thing, I mean we're supposed to do. But we come up short. Mm -hmm. We come up short. They had oil. They had oil. But it was low. They didn't have enough. And sometimes we, we do all the things that we want to do. All the things we want to do. Mm -hmm. But one time, what, well, the trump is going to blow one day. Mm -hmm. The trump is going to blow. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to have enough to go up mm -hmm. and be with the Lord in the air. Yeah. Don't play around. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need to take time now and do what we need to do. Right. You know we had we ran on empty. You need to stop and get some gas. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Some you need to stop and get some oil. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You got some, but you're raining on him. Yes, Lord. It's time to get your tank full. God bless you. Now, Kevin. Good morning. This morning, I want to talk about the credit card. I just happen to have one. I hope you got one. I know we try to get rid of it. But this credit card, I'm going to relate it to Jesus this morning. Yeah. You go to the teller machine, you put your card in, mm -hmm. and, then you, it, and it won't do anything until you put a pin in. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you get the pin, but everybody has a different number, and we have a different name. Yeah. And sometimes the card, we are it overloaded. And sometimes we got, don't have enough money in the bank to make it work. And I thought about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He issued us a credit card one day. He took all of our charges and went to the cross and nailed them to the cross. We don't have to worry about paying in the interest. We don't have to worry about getting a replacement. We don't have to worry about it being expired because it's never expired. But when Jesus was crucified, he laid all of our debt on him. That's why we are free this morning. Credit card don't mean anything. He's already given us credit. He already has given us eternal life. All we got to do is walk right and talk right and live right. And the Lord will take care of the rest. And the Lord bless you this morning. Amen. Amen. Let's give another praise clap for all the ministers. Hallelujah. And this time we're going to have the choir to come back with another selection. And then we're out with us here, Lord. Amen. Come on, choir.
Jesus, hallelujah. Do you thank God for being so good to you? Hallelujah. Do you thank the Lord for getting you this far in your life? Do you give God some praise? Hallelujah. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just give God some praise on today. Hallelujah. So many times we forget what God has done for us because we always see what still needs to be done. But we got to celebrate what God has already done for us. Hallelujah. The Bible says, God, if you don't do no more, you've already done enough. We got to live our lives that way. That if God don't do no more for us, he's already done enough. Lord, you allow me to see my child go off the spot. If you don't do no more, you've already done enough. Lord, you let me see my kids grow up. If you don't do no more, you've already done enough. We got to learn to give God some praise for what God has already done in our lives. Hallelujah. Oh,
said, but I got a question for you. What is man that you are so mindful of him? Yeah. And the son of man that you care after him? Yeah. What is this God? What's so valuable and important about him? You made him just a little lower than divine beings. You crowned him with honor yeah. and glory. Yeah. You made him the head. You gave him the dominion over the works of your hands. Uh, sometimes when I think about it, I think to myself, what keeps God up at night? What keeps the Lord up at night? The Bible says that God said, I watch over my word that I might perform it. The Bible says that God looks at the righteous and his ears are attentive until their cry. I'm telling you, God never sleeps nor slumbers. God is always there. He's always ready. Yeah. 
I've already set you free. Mm -hmm. And he says this. Now I'm in your midst. Mm -hmm. Jesus said where well, there's two or more God. Mm -hmm. I'm in your midst. Mm -hmm. I'm the mighty one. Yes. Who has saved you. Yeah. And the Bible says he will rejoice. Over you with gladness. Yeah. Oh that somebody ever read in the gospel. Where it said that when one comes to faith. There's rejoicing in the presence yeah. of the angels. You see, every time God sees somebody turn around and give their life unto him, he said there's got to be some shouting going on. And he didn't say the angels were shouting. He said there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels. You see, God is rejoicing right now. Why? Because Jesus the Christ, he's already overcome death, hell, and the grave. And he's rejoicing because of the fact that by us being in Christ, that means that we too, God is rejoicing over. You see, when you give your life to the Lord, Jump! 